And you can see it looks almost exactly like what you see um, in this diagram in your book. So you have, um, the first thing you notice is this, so here's right side up. So these are the olfactory lobes up here. So these are the olfactory lobes. You have the olfactory tracts going back. The first thing you notice is probably these really big round things, which are the temporal lobes. So these are temporal lobes. And here's the optic chiasma right here. So I'm just going to turn this for them. So people on this side of the room, so this is the optic chiasma. This is the temporal lobe. These are the, op the olfactory lobes and the olfactory tracts. Now, you can also see um, the pituitary gland in here and the mammillary body, which is this big bump that's behind it. So people on this side of the room, pituitary is very small, and then the mammillary is this big bump here in the middle. Um, you also have the pons, which is up here. And you have the um, medulla, which is which goes back here. So this would be the medulla. And so here, this is the medulla. And then this up here is the pons. So pons is up here. All right, now the cerebellum is the part back here. So on either side, and you're, you'll see that much better in the, in the dorsal view. So here, yeah, this is a really nice brain. Okay, so these are the cerebral hemispheres here. So the cerebrum has these two hemispheres, right and left, so left and right. Or actually, no, right and left, because the dorsal view is the same as for you. So this is the right hemisphere, and this is the left cerebral hemisphere. So we have olfactory lobes again here. Um, then you'll notice that we have um, the cerebellum, and it's broken up into three structures on each side. So the vermis is the part that goes right down the middle here. So this here, from here to about here going down, this is the vermis, named because it looks like a little worm. Then you have the cerebellar hemispheres, one on each side. And you'll see the flocculus is this little bumpy round thing that sticks out on either side. So that's something that the rabbit has that the sheep does not really have. So the cerebellum has these three parts. It has the vermis, the flocculus, and the cere cerebellar hemispheres. Okay, so vermis in the middle, cerebellar hemispheres, and then flocculus sticking out. And then you can also see um, the medulla really sticking out down here. Okay, and the pineal body is in here. Um, so right here, and then the longitudinal fissure is what separates the um, left and right hemispheres of the cerebrum. Now turning it over again, you can see um, this artery which I think is the basilar artery, which runs right along the, um, this fissure on the ventral surface. And this is called, um, this is basically the, um, the mid-ventral fissure. So it runs along the medulla, right along the midline here. So the ventral fissure. All right, and that's pretty much everything for the brain, for the rabbit.